a division. And you see the Pleasantville Iowa cheerleaders there who are out in force to make as much noise as they possibly can for their young man, Jeff Byer. He's wrestling Joel Henning of Linville Sully. The referee is Don Holmes of Vinton. And in on the leg is Henning of Linville Set Sully. Got him high in the air. No, we're up, gentlemen. Got it high in the air, but no takedown. Henning got here. He's the young man in the blue, trying to get into that fireman's carry position. He had a pin in his first match over Pitt of Underwood, and then he won two decisions by four points and then by six points over Watson of Iowa Valley and even of Don Bosco. And there's a two-point takedown for Jeff Byer. Shot a real low single there, and uh, even though uh, Byer stuck the arm in there to try to block him out, he hooked the legs up and took the arm with it. Effectively got his two-pointer. He's now got the far elbow, and he's in pretty fair position to turn uh, Henning over, or I mean to turn Byer over, because he's still got that arm locked in there, and... And it's I, tough to counter all Did I put up. the wrong man on top there? I think I nope. did, didn't I? That's uh, Henning from Linville Sully on top. We have two other matches going on at the same time, you know, in double nope. A and triple A further on down the hall. And there's what's happening at double A. Bob Kaufman of Emmitsburg in the yellow is wrestling Bob Kincaid of Glenwood. They're both undefeated this year. That's the double A championship. And then with the triple A, it's Tom Hansen of Cedar Rapids Kennedy against Mike Hazy of Prairie of Cedar Rapids. Hayes is, un is undefeated. Now back to our main match here. Single A, 145. Henning of Linville Sully in the blue, Go. leading two to nothing Go. over Jeff Byer of Pleasantville on the bottom. Right at the end of the first period, as a matter of fact. Henning, a real, real lanky wrestler, uses his legs real effectively and has uh, one second left to ride him out for the rest of the period. Byer got into the finals by defeating Whiteside of the School for the Deaf 13 to 5, Holmberg of Terrell 10 to 2, and then he won a pin over Capriva of uh, North Tama, 3 minutes and 12 seconds. And there's the end of the first period. 145 pounds. It is red. The choice. Down. Green's up. Red's taking down. Green's up. Joyce goes to Pleasantville's Byer, and he decides to go up. I, I think the choice went to Henning, and Henning chose down. All right. It's not uh, not often that a wrestler do that. He may uh, he may feel he wants to work underneath while he's still fresh. Hang in there, guys. All right. A nice switch maneuver. Steps back over, but fire hooks the legs in and locks him up. Two to nothing. Looks like a potential stalemate here. Neither man can ad advance his position, and the uh, referee will stop him and start him again. Kaufman has a two to nothing lead at double A over Kincaid in the first uh, period. And Hansen, the first period. Hansen leading two to one and uh, over Hazy in uh, triple A action. Now you see the Pleasantville boy fire on top in a cradle position. He's got a cradle. He's trailing two to nothing. He's a little too high, though. Yes, he is. He's slipping over the top. Henning trying to get him up real high and get his hips up high, and there he does. Pulls him over the top for a reversal, and... Four to nothing. Comes back and locks the leg up. That's where he's comfortable. Hooking in a bar arm now. Henning will, seems to have both arms barred up and locked, and that's, oh, he just, he slipped it, but that's a dangerous position to be in if you're underneath. 45 seconds left, second period here. Nice roll attempt by Byer. There's nothing. Effectively There's countered, nothing. though. Henning There's trying nothing. to take him to his back from there. No change. Came out, still on top of the bar arm. Another side roll attempt, but 
Henning is real in tight behind the hips and he's not giving any room to work. And he may stack him up here for some points. Nothing so far. 15 seconds left. Second period. Kaufman leads two to one on the double A. Still two to one over at Triple uh, A in favor of Hanson over Prairie Boy. Back to the center, eight seconds left. As we told you, the referee is Don Holmes of uh, Vinton here. And there is a mat. There's a referee's assistant on duty, too. Beer trying a quick switch, but uh, <clears throat> hips are blocked out. He does make it go. No, nope, I don't believe that counted for anything. He's right on the whistle. He's right at the end of the period. So it's still four to nothing in favor of Green's down. That was an excellent, Henning. excellent move by Beer there. He, his switch was blocked off, and, he, and uh, right when Henning thought he had him in control, he relaxed and then exploded it again and made it work. Third period starts. Two minutes of wrestling to go. Henning leading four to nothing, takes the top position. And he's got a bar on one side, he's got a bar on both sides, and it could be trouble for Beer if he keeps him. Well, Byers uh, not in the position he'd like to be in, there's no doubt about it, because uh, Henning has that near arm barred, had a hammer lock on the other side. Looks like he's going after a double bar arm now. <laughs> In, uh, in two-A action, uh, Kaufman from Emmitsburg is leading two to one still over uh, Kincaid from Glenwood. Two undefeated wrestlers. In Triple-A, it's Hanson uh, of Kennedy leading now three to two. And Henning is pretty well in charge on top. He's leading by four. He's pitching a shutout here at Jeff Beyer. Get this right, let's go! He's got a lot of leverage up there. He's a real long kid. And that's sometimes the toughest ones to get away from because it, you just can't get far enough away from them to, to beat their reach. 45 seconds left, a warning on the bottom. Henning just keeps hooking both legs in there. He puts a, you can put a lot of pressure on a man's back from there with your hips. Stalemate. 37 seconds to go. Kaufman with an escape in the uh, two-way action is up three to one. And it's now four to three down at the other man, Triple-A, and I can't see who's leading, so we'll have to wait and see. There's only 30, about 30 seconds left in that Triple-A match. I, I believe Hanson from Kennedy's still up. So we have here at the 1A, Henning in the blue of Linville Sully leading Byer and riding him tough in the third period. It's four to nothing. Byer just can't seem to get things started. One point underneath, you're riding two on one, one. No, nope. that's a point for the man on the bottom. And I four guess to one. That's the reason he can't get anything started, is he's just okay. tying him up and holding on. He has 14 seconds left. I don't think that bothers him too much, leading four to one. Stand up to their feet and... Take him down. Beer tries to do a standing roll and a little scramble. Well, he's hooked cradle. up that throttle, cradle. He's got the arm through. Now, if he can stay on his knees, he's in pretty good There's position. There's the end of the period, though, and the end of the match. And it's 4-1, to one, the victory for Joel Henning of Linville Sully. He's the state champion at 145 pounds in the single A. He's a senior, and his first time to the state championships is a big win for him. And Hansen wins the Triple-A match, 4-3 to three over Hazy of Prairie Cedar Rapids. And a Double-A, Kaufman of Emmitsburg, I think, has just wrapped up a big one, too. I, I, think, I think I may have mistaken. I think Hazy won. Well, we'll have to just wait Four and see three. here. We'll get our floor reports and find out what happened here in just a little bit. 145 pounds. It was Hansen of Kennedy, apparently, who won. There is the hand going up for Bob Kaufman of Emmitsburg. He finishes his year 32 wins, no losses. Champion, double A 145. Here are the awards now. Bob Kaufman, a senior from Emmitsburg, is the new champion at double A at 145 pounds, defeating Bob Kincaid of Glenwood tonight, five to one. Kaufman put a takedown in the first period together with a takedown in the escape in the last period, beating Kincaid 5-1. to one. Dick? Okay.
Okay, Dean, at 145 AAA competition, two Cedar Rapids boys locked horns, and when it was all over with in a very, very tight contest, Mike Hossie remained undefeated, uh, winning 31 on the season as he defeated Tom Hansen of Cedar Rapids Kennedy. The final margin was 4-3. to three. Hansen led 3-1 to one at the end of two periods, but he could not hold Hossie, who escaped and then came up with a takedown in the final period. Mike Hossie, Cedar Rapids Kennedy, the 145-pound AAA state champion. Back to you, Doug. Cedar Rapids Prairie, I know you meant Dick, but it's nice to have somebody from Cedar Rapids down there to tell us that that's the way you pronounce Mike's name. He's the champion. We remind you that the television coverage is... 45 pounds, Coach Terry Northcutt of Linville Sully. Sixth place, Kurt Watson, Marengo. Derek Whiteside, Iowa School for the Deaf, Council Bluffs. Fourth place, Joe Copriva, Trayer North Tama. Third place, Nick Even, Gilbertville Don Bosco. Runner up from Pleasant Fire. And the Class A 145 pound champion from Linville Sully, Joel Henning. Joel Henning. That's the single A division. One of the happy champions here tonight. That's one of the pensive spectators. Not so pensive now. Her boy won. I can see that. That's what the V is for, I assume. Maybe two of them won. That may be what it's for. Presenting the awards. 245. She was talking about it. Could have been two. Sixth place, Jeff Davis. Here, Jeff Davis. Here, Keith. Fifth place, Ben Roberts. Wapsie Van Bang. Fourth place, Pat Dawson Norwalk. Third place, Don Wampolo. Runner-up, Amanda Kincaid. And the Class 2A 145-pound champ, Emmonsburg, Bob with Kaufman. A happy champion. He's, he's, a, not, he's not the first Kaufman from Emmitsburg who's won the state title either. His older brother won two of them, I believe. More of the people here at Vets Auditorium. You're watching live. Well, I'm sure you're live, but uh, so are we. As a matter of fact, from Veterans Auditorium in Des Moines, the state championships. Doug Brown and Randy Borg and Dick Trump. Coach Jim Kimball of Cedar Rapids Prairie. Sixth place, Trey Glider, West Des Moines Valley. Fifth place, Kurt Hall, Marion. Fourth place, Kevin Link, Marshalltown. Third place, Dan Stepleton, Mason City. Eight. Second place, Tom Hansen, Cedar Rapids Kennedy. And the Class 3A 145-pound champion from Cedar Rapids Prairie, Mike Hasey. Yeah. There he is. We had a little trouble figuring out whether he won or lost there for a while. Now let's go to Dean Borg. 